If you watch this when I release it, just want to say happy holidays. Let's get into the video. I'm going to explain literally the easiest way to box people and literally the best mindset to have show you specifically how to do it in chapter four. For some people, it could be a little bit more advanced, but I promise I'm going to break it down for anyone starting on the game. Do me a solid though. Use code Kemi's in the shop. It helps a ton. Trust me when I say that I got tons of stuff in this one video. Starting out on the game, right? If you're semi brand new, you need to get your mechanics up to the point until you can do this specific drill right here. There's like three different variations that I show in creative right here that transfer over right into real games. I practice these so much that I almost didn't even realize that these are even a drill. So look what I'm doing. I edit a wall so I can get the cones above and below and I just practice creating boxes to my left. And also at the same time, you want to start doing it to the right as well. And just really look at my crosshair placement. You see how I'm not going up and down really far. It's hella, hella neat. Next, what happens a ton in the game is when you drag over cones, but you only get one of them. So get used to placing the cone above and dragging that cone over to your right to create a full box. This allows you to get a box and also give you a path to walk on so that you can run and make the correct edit. This is Raider's old peace control map from way back in the day. Just pick up a shotgun and what you want to do, this is a little bit uncut. You want to come to the first one. And this is exactly what I was showing you just earlier in the creative mode, but now it's simulated with a specific drill and like a fake play. So you'll see that I'm literally dragging the cones over, then placing a wall, then editing it. And I touch that that wall almost to try and get those other two. Some people, when they start out, they struggle to get the back walls. It's literally just the same thing. I'm going to show you from the other side. You kind of just want to touch the wall a little bit and just look in this spot and you'll get those walls every time. So now coming over to drill number seven, this is when someone ramps over you, so to speak. So you place a wall and then I place the cone. I full box them in. And when you're underneath this stair, you need to get out of here as quickly as possible. People will always flip this stair in today's meta. So if you're spending a long time trying to set up this kind of box, you're going to get completely screwed. Just notice how I'm resetting the wall. Sometimes I do window edit, sometimes I open up the whole thing. It depends and I read the player in that situation. If they're pressed up against the wall, do a window edit. If they're further back, open up the whole thing. From this map, you can come right over into the next one, which is the newest one, I believe. This is the third one. I go to drill one and just start out with this one. It's super easy and almost the same thing I was just teaching you, but now you can do it from different ways. So one of the ways I box people that I show you later in the video is wall, wall. I stare up and down and then place a wall and then you I do this Mongo classic edit here so again I'm showing you very very slow it's just just like this and this happens a lot in the game okay now I'm gonna make this as simple as possible to explain practice this as slow as you need to trust me it, the speed doesn't matter when you're starting out at all you'll find the momentum the more you do it you're gonna go back into creative you're gonna notice what I'm doing is always editing the tiles that are further away from me so I have more time to go through this wall I'm creating a tarp for myself and you'll see like I'm going right and left, right and left, and just kind of copy exactly this motion. The trick is to edit any four tile that you feel most comfortable doing. Now, as I make this harder, trust me, it does get harder. You're going to notice I'm always editing the one closest in between my builds. This one, I edit only three tiles, but I'm zigzagging back and forth between an imaginary straight line. This by far has got to be one of the most difficult drills you can do, but if you can get used to this or practice it, start out by saying, let me just get two. Let me just get three. Eventually, you're going to be able to do it for a very long time. I box people like this left and right. I'm not even kidding. Once you feel comfortable getting that down, I'm showing you real game examples now of how I implement that into my game. This is what teaches you to kind of play faster in fights and have way more control. Let me show you. I'm putting this at the beginning of the video. This is the most simple way I box someone. I did it really slow in arena. My mechs aren't this slow. Trust me. Tutorial purposes only. I'm looking at the guy the entire time he's dropping and I I place the wall before he can do it. Once I place the wall, I try to go around it to try and place cones. Now, someone in this position, they'll always end up going backwards. It's just a habit. That's just what happens. But I decided to be fancy, go from the other side and then place the wall to block him in. Now I can make an edit on the front wall and go for a shot. So at this point, I just continue my momentum forward, cone up and down and walls. He ends up escaping, but that is literally boxing in the most simplistic manner. This is one of my best clips. I start out and I'm pushing this guy very hard. When I side jump, sometimes I get caught in a situation where they edit out. I place the wall in front of me and I drag the cones over like we just practiced. Now I whiff the edit and he ends up running away into a new box. So watch this move right here. I place the stair inside. Side note, just press your face up against it. You could build through the wall very easily. You're going to notice how I'm running around the box completely on the opposite side of where I was just fighting this player. That is the easiest way to try and box people. Always run around the back side of their wall. Here's another guy where he comes to put 
push my box. Once I see him on the corner here, I shoot him and then I edit out my right, but cone up and down just like we talked about. Now, this time, instead of trying to play further back, I'm running directly into the box and jumping into the shot. If you can make the edit fast enough on the initial wall, me jumping in gives me time to place the other two walls in the back and it kind of makes him have to hit a harder shot and I'll be in his face ready to max pump him. This comes with a lot of confidence. This is one of the most important parts of the video, the prediction, kind of how I read players. You see, once I grab this wall, this guy's panicking now, but I'm holding my shotgun out and I'm reading him. When someone's pressed or closer to one side, that's usually the side that they're going to edit out on. So notice how I create a full box just waiting for him to go into it. It backfired a little bit. So I'm holding my pump out. I'm just sitting there slowly exposing the angle until I can get shot. This clip was from the beginning of the season, but just watch how I do this. This hammer strat is now like kind of patched. You can't hammer and grab walls right away, but watch how I see this guy running to his side. I high wall up and try and create a full box for him. It's like the easiest way to predict people is literally just by looking at them and seeing which direction they're headed towards. And that's the side that you full box. In this next fight, I'm rolling up on this guy. And whenever someone creates a box and I'm kind of keeping pressure up, I'll always just instantly create more boxes myself. But since he has the wall i'm gonna pause the vid you have to play in between the edit so i'm fighting him normally again and then you're gonna see how i get the stare inside and then right away i just expect him to run out and i create a full box and that's what he does not all the time do i run in and if i ran in here i probably would have got smacked with a pump so this is a move against jiven and this is when i was playing him in creative the other day he had a cone that was his but there was no floor below it so all i have to do is wait for him to edit place the floor to block his shot and then as he's backing up that's when i'm placing the wall myself and then i just do a cone and walls and he's dead here's the move i told you to practice earlier in the vid it's really really useful because it kind of gets people glitched underneath bills you're gonna see what i'm talking about there's a wall in front of me so i throw stairs above it i place a wall i edit the four tiles and place a floor the second i confirm that edit now this guy got stuck below the floor but sometimes they get stuck above it and then they're completely and utterly full box i had to include these chapter three clips because i was trying to make this video way back when and i have these really good examples i couldn't not not include them when i grab height on someone right and they're right below me i shoot them and i double edit on them no it's usually better to try and create a full box behind the stair people just naturally walk into boxes like that if you could set it up quick enough if you need to go into creative just like i'm showing you and just practice creating double edits and full boxes look at this situation i cracked this guy and now i'm above his head and he didn't create a full box for himself so if you want to get quick boxes on people quick piece control you sprint run look down right away notice how i sprint i look down before i hit the floor then i edit place cone and now he's dead close quarter combat you can sprint to walls and you might be able to get them faster than you actually think so you'll see this guy is in this box just chilling in a one by one and then he goes to rebranch out so when he has two boxes like this i just shove the wall in there by just pressing my face up against it I smack it, edit, and now he's pretty much dead. Sometimes when you box people and try and constantly box them, they're gonna get nervous and they create two boxes, shove a wall in there. This is me fighting Jiven, and you're gonna see how this is super advanced. I'm going up for high ground. I get stairs over him. From this spot right here, I place floor. So now I have a double edit. I edit down on him, but Jiven is super aware. So he's probably ready to pre-fire me. So when I edit this floor, I actually reset it as I'm falling so that he shoots it, I fall in the box, and he's just toast lots of the time when you're end game it's even easier to box people because the zone is pulling them in one direction so it's practically telling me that i have to create a box to the right because that's where the zone is going that's where this guy wants to go and then the next guy tries to come up on me so i'm build fighting him i try and double edit down but i choked it now i'm doing a high wall here i'm doing some retakes notice how i place the stair to block his shot like i talked about in an earlier fight i go around him and i'm high walling up the entire time full box he's stuck in a corner max pump dead. These high walls are something that I talk about in my high ground retake video. If you want to learn that, go check out the video in the top right corner. Remember early on in the video where when you're underneath someone's stair, you need to make a quick edit. Check out how I do the edit and then I grab it. I reset it all in one swoop. I make a new edit. That's hands down the most optimal way to do that. So this is a pretty simple, easy full box. It's just a mongrel classic. But notice how when I'm confirming the edit, I'm moving to the left so that this guy has a really hard time to see me, which makes 
makes him not shoot me right away. Check out the fishy skin in this fight. So as I'm box fighting him here, I see him looking in direction. So I instantly know that I have to get that before he does. So I jump, stare above and below me, and I go for a double edit right here. That move needs to be practiced. I full box people like that so often, it's actually ridiculous. Just so much pressure being kept up on this fishy here. And then once it was for the clip, I stopped because I knew that I didn't want to like lose that part. So I stopped fighting him. <laughs> Check out when someone's on a corner. I shoot and then do the exact same thing. I edit down cone wall and then just make this edit and just try and place at least one wall. And I go for shots. Now he's dead. Sometimes when someone's running around builds or running through builds, I see that a wall is weak. So I just break it and place the one in front of me to get the wall right in his face. You grab this wall, he's donezo. And right away, I always think that people are going to create more space. So as I'm rolling up to the wall, I'll try and just quickly create a box around it. This not only sets me up to take the wall, but if he makes an edit on me, I have complete escape. I can flip the cone and leave that box and never get shot. This is hands down a direct correlation to the move I told you about practicing earlier in the video. Place a wall and I cone up and down. Then I place a wall again and I edit this really sharply and go for a nice full box. This happens so fast. To be honest, my mechs have been looking way cleaner than they have been compared to the past. Here are guys above me. So what I do is I high wall up and I get a cone above him. I try and go for the full box, but I want to leave the stair quickly as possible. So as I'm going to the left, I'm looking sharply down to get the wall first. I make a window edit, get a shot, and then I make another window edit and I'm super protected. There's times in the game where people are going to flip the stair and shoot me in this spot right here. That's why I quickly don't even go for the walls and I just leave the box all together because I don't want to risk getting shot. To be more realistic and show you how it actually kind of works, you're probably going to rump someone's wall and do exactly like I'm doing here. I hold my shotgun out and I get a shot. Now that he reset the wall, I go for two pieces at once. Homie is toast. Boxing people not only comes down to knowing how to do the move specifically, but learning the tendency of the player so that you can do it in a way where you're not going to take too much damage. All the ways I box people in these clips, you can replicate it in creative. Raiders peace control maps, I'm going to leave them linked down below, is what really helped me get comfortable creating boxes for people. It's been your man, Ken. If you like the video, like the damn video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.